It will take weeks, months, and possibly years to completely rebuild the communities in the hardest hit areas. Sarah Winkleman is in Spruce Pine tonight talking to people about the storm's emotional toll. I think the first few days in Western North Carolina, people were just trying to assess the damage and wrap their heads around what had happened. But now a lot of work is being done as they start to clean up. And you can take a look here in Spruce Pine. This is what the street looks like in a lot of areas. These big piles of mud and inside lots of items that, of course, came up with the floodwaters, but also that are being pulled out of these businesses. We've seen this long line of businesses kind of being gutted out this morning, pulling all the items out, anything that they can save. They save everything Everything else goes in these large piles of trash just to get out of the way so they can start cleaning and they can start thinking about rebuilding. But it takes a lot of people and a lot of muscle to do that. And we've actually met a crew earlier that came down from Pennsylvania just to help out for two days to clean out what they can and do what they can. But people in this town are so appreciative and they're so strong and they know that they will get through this and this town will once again be thriving. It will. It's too beautiful out here to not want to live out here, you know? So this is just a freak thing of nature. It happens every thousand years, a hundred years or whatever they said. So it'll come back. I'm not going anywhere. This is, I'm here to stay. This is my home. This is my town. This area is no longer underwater, but this is now the new view. Just these large piles caked with mud. A lot of this, a complete loss in this area. All of this will have to go. But the people here in this small town keep reminding us that the lives lost is the big story here. And this is all just stuff that can be replaced. They will replace it and they will rebuild. In Spruce Pine, I'm Sarah Winkleman.